2016 Missouri uh, Cross Country Class 4, let's see, sectional 1, I think, two. or 2, yeah. with uh, Jackson Schwartz, the Jeff City senior, and uh, um, uh, champion here today, what, 16? 16, 15, I think, yeah. And, and uh, uh, tell me, obviously, uh, 26, two years ago at State Cross, just yeah. missed all state honors, and then yeah. came back with a strong... Uh, Track season going ninth and thirty-two and what fourth or fourth and thirty-two and yeah. ninth and the sixteen hundred. Yeah. Um, things didn't go quite the way you wanted to last year at State no. and uh, uh, helped the Jays to uh, runner-up finish last year in the four by eight. Yeah. And now uh, having a strong senior campaign and committed to about to commit to Tulsa, you say. And yeah. uh, tell me uh, what what the uh, um, what the goal coming into uh, today was. You guys took second to Rockbridge last week and. Second again today, and uh, um, just tell me how the race played out for you and what you were thinking coming in. Well, our goal coming in was to, to be second. You know, we wanted to race for the win, but Rockbridge is a state championship caliber team, and we just don't we just don't know if we're at their level yet. So we just thought we'd shorten the gap between us. You know, they beat us by 70 last week. I think uh, less than 40 this week. So we achieved that goal. My goal personally was to come back and uh, give Sam Baumer from Rockbridge a really good race. He. Uh, he beat me last week by about 15 seconds, and I thought today I might change it up. Last week I took the lead very early, about 400 in. Today I thought I'd let him or maybe uh, Joe Laughlin from SLU lead, and, uh, and then I'd race the last half. And really, I, I stuck to the race plan pretty well. I, um, I took the lead about 4K in. Uh, Adam Sandstep from Rockbridge was giving me a really good race, and from then on I just kind of held my own and gave it everything I had to the finish, and I ended up winning the race, so that was really Really good for me, really unexpected for me. Looks like coming up the hill, just right before two miles, you kind of stepped ahead and kind of took off from there. Is that where you pulled away then? Yeah, a, a little bit. You know, uh, Sandstead, he stuck on my hip, and I was a little worried that he might have a late surge, but I, uh, I ended up making my move at 4K just after, um, you know, about two and a half miles in, and, and I lost the pack. So I was I was pretty pretty happy with that. Turned out pretty. And uh, other, some other top finishes throughout the year, including a runner-up at the... Uh, at Hancock and yeah. uh, among other good races. Tell me, uh, thinking ahead to next week and uh, get to sleep in your own bed and yeah. uh, run on the state course. That is really nice. Um, you know, I tried to, to use those advantages to to uh, benefit me last year, and I ended up, you know, taking 90th. And I really just think it was mentally. I I started racing too early. I wasn't just running free and relaxed. I, you know, came through the 400 in about fourth place behind the Lafayette kids, and I really just suffered. So this year. I'm going to take it easy out on the start. I'm going to use those advantages that I have and sleeping in my own bed and eating breakfast in my house and all those things. And I'm just going to be nice and relaxed and run free and run like I should and hopefully finish in the top five. That would be my goal. Yeah, yeah. And uh, obviously team-wise, you guys had a really strong team last year and the things kind of fell for for, for you at State. What, yeah. uh, next week, what's a good goal for you guys going into next week? Well, uh, you know, our team wants to be a top four team, but right now I'm just really hoping that we can be really – Top half, top six, would I'd be really satisfied with that, you know. Top four is a lot to ask for, especially with how young we are. You know, our, our fourth runner today was a freshman. He got 20th. Uh, and it's just really hard to expect uh, such high performance out of them their first time around at the state meet. Sure, so, sure. So top six, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. And talk to me about college a little bit. What's, what's the most exciting thing you're looking forward to uh, being able to run in college? Uh, you know, going to the University of Tulsa and uh, going to a school that, you know, took seventh place at Division I Nationals just uh, three years ago. I'm really excited to get into the atmosphere of high competition, but uh, low race volume. You only race three or four times a year, but race the best competition out there. Really surround myself with great guys at Tulsa, and I'm just excited to bring the best of my abilities out. And yeah. Run some good 8Ks and good 10Ks. Yeah. You got, like you said, you got kind of a young team. What, what are you, what advice are you going to give to those guys that uh, haven't run state or uh, um, after you've had your uh, opportunities? To to the guys that haven't run state yet, you know, whether you're a sophomore or a senior or a freshman, the best advice I can give you is state is what you make it. You know, if you go to the line and you're all tense and your shoulders are up and tight, you know, you're probably not gonna, you're probably not gonna perform to your ability. But if you're relaxed and you realize that. Nobody out there is trying to kill you. They're all your friends, and you just race with them. But you got to be competitive and run relaxed and run free. Then you'll succeed. And I just think that people kind of lose sight of that and the and the mass stigma behind the state meet and how challenging it is. But I think that if you really just let your mind go and 
If you run relaxed, that's the best thing you can do. Yeah. 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 Well, congratulations on a big victory today, and uh, good luck in Jeff City next week. Thank you so much. All right, thanks, Jeff.